Hello everyone. I'm Jackie and I'm here for a beginner gentle Kripalu chair yoga sequence in a chair. So this morning for the next 45 minutes we're going to do a gentle easy practice. This is perfect even if you've never done yoga before and we're going to begin with a little bit of breath work, pranayama. We're then going to do some warm-up postures, and then we're going to move into some asana, cool down, and then close with a very brief meditation. As always, I'll remind you to work at your own level. If anything feels uncomfortable or unpleasant for you, then just back off or feel free to modify. I will offer some modifications. The most important thing is to just breathe and obviously have fun. So begin in your chair, finding a comfortable seat. I would suggest a chair without arms, but if the only chair you have available has arms, We'll work with that as well. So with your feet on the floor, about hip width distance apart. And a good way to tell that is to make two fists and then just place them between your knees. And that's a good way to judge hip width distance apart. Your sits bones, those ischial tuberosities connected to the seat. Your spine is long, the crown of your head stretches toward the ceiling. And begin today with three letting go breaths. So we're gonna take a breath in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. And eyes can be opened or you can start to close your eyes and slowly let them soften. So taking a nice deep breath in, inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. One more inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. Final inhale. And this time as you exhale out through your mouth, if your eyes aren't already closed, just let them drift down or just gaze at the floor between your feet. Begin to bring your attention inside. Your hands can rest easy on your lap. Palms down if you'd like a grounding energy or palms up if you'd like to receive a little bit of energy this morning. Just begin to bring that awareness to your breath. Noticing that rise and fall of your belly. Slowly deepening that breath. Exhale, breath out. Breath in. And let that breath flow out. Thoughts may start to pop into your mind. But just acknowledge that they're there and just continue to bring your attention back to your breath. And every time you exhale, see if you can soften one area of your body. So breathing in, and then as you exhale, just softening your shoulder blades. Next time you exhale, maybe you soften your elbows, let them rest a little bit more closely to your sides. Soften your knees. Let's 
and begin to prepare ourselves for the practice ahead. Today, I will find opportunities to recognize and demonstrate my strength, wisdom, and joy. So releasing that conscious control your body return to its normal rhythm of breathing. And next time you exhale, let your eyes come open, take in a little bit of light and space back into the room. And with your palms down on your knees, take a breath in as you inhale. Lift your gaze up toward the ceiling. And then as you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Let your gaze rest on the floor. Inhale, gaze comes up to the ceiling. Exhale, dropping your chin down to your chest. Inhale, gaze floats up to the ceiling. Last time, exhale, drop that chin down to your chest. Inhale, back up, neutral spine. Gently drop your left ear to your left shoulder. And you can take your right arm and press it away. Option here to Inhale, lifting that left hand to come just up and over, laying it alongside that ear. Feeling that nice stretch in the side of the neck, very gently. And then next time you exhale, lift that left hand up and out if you had it overhead. Take a breath in, and this time drop that right ear to the right shoulder. Feel that stretch right in the side of the neck. Pressing away with that left hand. Opportunity to inhale that right hand up and over. Lay it alongside that ear. Press those fingertips away. Feel that stretch in the side of the neck. in. As you exhale, let that hand lift up and over. Let your head come back through center. Rolling your shoulder blades up and back and down. Up, back and down. Up, back and down. And then pausing, reversing that direction because what we do in one direction, we have to do in the other. Coming up and around. One more time. And then exhale, give your fingertips a little bit of a shake. Palms face up toward the ceiling here. Again, reminding yourself of that connection with your feet to the floor. So maybe rocking from the heels to the tips of your toes with your feet. And palms are up. Taking a breath in, inhale, lift your hands up overhead or as high as you can comfortably go. Let your palms connect and then exhale. Let your hands float right down through the center of your body, right through heart center. Seated sun breaths. Palms come out to the side. Inhale, lift 
lifting up, long toll spine, crown of the head stretches toward the ceiling. Exhale, drop those hands through heart center. Inhale, arms come out to the side, tall spine. Palms kiss overhead, exhale through heart center. Arms come out, nice deep breath in, palms connect. Exhale, drop your hands through heart center. One more time. Inhale, lifting hands overhead. Exhale, drop your hands through heart center. And when your hands get to your center of your heart, just pause, maybe close your eyes for a moment. Think about one thing that you're grateful for. Lifting up, inhale, lift that left arm up and overhead. Exhale, drop that left hand down. Inhale, right arm comes up and overhead. Exhale, drop that down. Inhale, lifting up as high as you can comfortably reach. And then exhale, drop that down, moving from side to side. And then exhale, drop down. Inhale, one more time, left. Exhale, arm floats down. Inhale, one more time, right. Exhale, drop that down. Shifting back and forth on your sits bones. This time we'll inhale, left arm out to the side. Exhale, drop that down. Right arm comes out. Exhale, drop that down. Like you're floating from side to side, building on that motion. One more time, right. And then this time, flip those palms up. Inhale, lift those arms overhead. And then exhale, lean with both of your hands overhead, over to the left. Exhale, back through center. Really reach up toward the ceiling. Exhale, floating over to the right. Inhale, come up through center. Fingertips extend toward the ceiling. Exhale, floating over to the left. Inhale, one more time, straight through center. Exhale, over to the right. And then last time, exhale, really reach up as high as you can go. Keeping your hands there, hook your thumbs together. And lift up tall out of your spine. And as you exhale, twisting right, and release back through center. Breath comes in, exhale, twisting left. Come back through center, lifting up long and tall. One more time. And then exhale, release those arms back down to your sides. Give them a little bit of a shake here. Call that a synovial shake. We move that synovial fluid that's up and down your spine, out through your body, really helps to lubricate those joints. Take your hands, make a fist with your fingers right in front of your heart, and then just start to rotate those wrists in like a figure eight shape, bringing a little bit of looseness there. Remembering to breathe, go as fast or as slow as you need to, and then pausing, and then reversing that direction, which I will tell you is always tricky for me. I can go 
I'm right-handed, I can go in one direction, but leading with my left hand is always super challenging. So I always find that a little bit harder. One more time and give those fingertips one more shake. Inhale, bring your arms out into a T position. Take a breath in and then letting yourself just flow back, opening up your heart. As you exhale, bring your palms right out in front, chest level, rounding your spine just a little bit. Take a breath in. As you exhale, opening up, lifting that heart. And then exhale, bring those hands forward, rounding that spine. One more time, open up, let that heart just shine forward. Exhale, close those hands, almost like you're hugging a pole or a tree, feeling that stretch in the shoulder blades. Open back up to a T position. Palms come down, release your hands down. Maybe give your arms just a little bit of shake. That's a nice energy that you're building. Your prana, your chi, your ki, you're starting to fire it up. So once again, take a peek down at your feet, see if they've shifted. You can check in by putting your hands together in front of the knees, resting your palms on your thighs here. Take a breath in bringing that spine nice and long, tall, crown of the head stretches toward the ceiling, shoulder blades back and down. Just begin to hinge forward just a little bit. And then as you exhale, start to roll your spine and your hips back and down and around. So inhale, coming forward, exhale as you move back. Inhale, shifting forward, making little circles like you're stirring. Your upper torso is the handle of a spoon. You're stirring a pot of thick soup. You can make these circles as large or as small as you'd like. Exhale on the backside, inhale. And then next time you reach the top of the circle, pause, take a breath in and reverse. Exhale. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, moving back down and around. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, come back up through center, sitting up nice and tall. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Maybe just close your eyes, feel that energy building. And then as you exhale, let your hands come back down. Take a breath in, check in, make sure your feet are in that position. Shift yourself back and forth on your sits bones. Let your hands rest, palms down on your thighs, your hip bones connect to the chair. Nice long spine, shoulders back and down. Really telescope that spine, stretch the crown of the head toward the ceiling for Tadasana, mountain pose and imagining that you are a mountain, strong, tall, unmovable. Feel free to stay here or extend your fingertips toward the ground with those shoulders back and down. That's option number one. Option two, is to extend your arms out in front as if you're holding a tray. Your palms are up in a gesture of receiving. You can 
continuing to circulate that breath. Bring your hands out, cactus arms is another choice. Or for the fullest expression, bring your hands out into a deep V. We'll be here for three breaths. Strong, tall mountain. Last breath. Whatever position your arms are in as you exhale, begin to slowly lower them down. With control. Let your hands rest, let your eyes close. Feel that pose. asana. Let your hands, palms up, come out to your sides. Take a deep breath in. Inhale, lifting your arms up overhead, interlacing your fingers, extending those index fingers toward the ceiling. Take one more breath in, and as you exhale, let your hands shift over to the left in Ardha Chandrasana, the half moon. Another option is to keep one hand on your hip and just have that arm overhead, or both hands can be on the hips if lifting your hands overhead is too uncomfortable. You choose the variation which suits you. And on your next exhalation, lifting up through center, extending those fingertips toward the ceiling one more time. And then as you exhale, this time coming over to the right. And again, remember, whichever variation suits you, it's really about finding that length in that side body as you inhale and you exhale. Next time you exhale, bring yourself up through center, extend those fingertips strong toward the ceiling. Release those hands, let your palms face down. Exhale, float the arms down by your sides. Let your hands come down to your lap. Take a breath in and exhale. Arms come out to the side. Inhale, hands come up overhead. Palms connect, exhale through the front of the body. The first part of our sun salutation series, which is the seated sun breaths. If that feels good, stay with that. Second step, inhale, arms up overhead, palms connect, exhale, hands come through heart center. Let your hands rest on your knees as you exhale, leaning forward, let your gaze rest between your feet. That's step number two. Rolling your spine up one vertebrae at a time, coming back through center. Now for step three, and then we'll repeat this sequence together. Inhale, arms up overhead, palms connect, Exhale, drop your hands through center, beginning to hinge forward. And this time, let your gaze come to the floor and your hands rest just below your knee. 
as you lay your chest right on top of your thighs. Let your breath come in. And then as you exhale, rolling back up one vertebrae at a time, letting your fingertips drag up your legs. Come to sit straight. Let your palms come up. Breath in. Exhale, release. So we'll do that sequence again together, the Seated Sun Salutation Series. So inhale, arms come up as high as you can, palms connect, exhale, drop your hands through center. Part one, stay there if you feel comfortable. Inhale, arms up overhead, palms connect, Exhale, drop your hands through center. Hands come to the top of the knees. Exhale, gently hinging forward to look at the space between your feet. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders, neck, and head are the last things to rise. Final step, inhale, arms up overhead. Sits bones connected to the chair. Palms connect, exhale, drop your hands through heart center. Hands slide down your legs just below your knees, hinging forward, laying your chest on top of your thighs, gaze floats between your feet. Breath in as you exhale, rolling back up. Head, neck, and shoulders, last things to arrive. Give your hands a little bit of a shake. Move that prana around. Breath in. <sighs> Sigh it out, great job. Lifting that left arm up. Exhale, let that float down. Right arm floats up. Right arm floats down. Left leg floats up. Left leg floats down. Inhale. Right leg floats up. Right leg floats down. Both arms up. Exhale. Both arms down. Both legs float up. Exhale. Legs float down. So we're going to try and opposite arm, opposite leg exercise, which works across your body, both sides of your brain. It's really good for helping to improve the connection. So what's really important is if you get mixed up, just continue to move. Um, that's what's important. We're gonna move right arm and left leg, and then we're gonna alternate. And then we're, at the end, we're gonna lift up both arms and both legs, if you can. Give it your best try. So we're going to begin with lifting the right arm, left leg, exhale, drop that down. Left arm, right leg lifts, exhale, drop that down. Right arm, left leg, exhale, drop that down. Left arm, right leg, exhale, drop that down. One more time, right arm, left leg, exhale, drop that down. Left arm, right leg, exhale, drop that down. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, lifting, take a deep breath in. Both arms, both legs out, Superman. Exhale, drop those down. Inhale, both arms, both legs lifting up strong through the core. Exhale, drop those down. One more time, inhale, both arms, both legs, hold them up there. Take a breath. Exhale, one more breath. As you exhale, let your arms and your legs float down. Give yourself that little synovial shake release. Great job. Shift yourself back in the chair to just make sure that you're still got that good connection, but that's a great 
great asana for challenging your brain, which everybody wants to do that. So again, hands out to the side, inhale, lift them up overhead. You can look up at the space between your hands and then as you exhale, let your hands come down to that left side, grabbing a hold of the chair as you look over that left shoulder. Take a breath in and then exhale. Lift those arms up, inhale and exhale, twisting, looking over that right shoulder, beginning to cool the body down. Inhale, lifting up, looking up at the space between your hands, exhale, twisting, looking over that left shoulder. As you exhale, see if you can twist a little deeper. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, twisting. Gaze is over the right shoulder. And if you have arms on your chairs, you can just let your hands rest on the arm of the chair right there and just grab a hold of that. That works as well. Last time, looking over that left shoulder inhale arms come up really reach those fingertips up exhale twisting over look over that right shoulder and then exhale lift your hands up palms face each other interlace those fingers flip those palms up toward the ceiling really stretch up long and then exhale, release those hands back down and around. Grab the bottom of the seat just behind your hips. Lift your heart up toward the ceiling. Let your gaze float up toward the ceiling as you grab that chair. And then exhale, round your spine, keeping your fingertips on that chair. Just Exhale, let your chin come to your chest. Your gaze goes between your feet. Inhale, back up to a neutral spine. Lifting that left leg up. Circling that foot around. You might hear a little crack, snap, pop. Reverse that direction. And then exhale, let that foot drop. Come over, this time to the right side. Lift that foot, stretch it long. Make circles with that foot. And then reverse that direction, moving in the opposite direction. Oh, there's a little snap crackle pop from me. And then release that foot down. Lift that left foot up, point and flex. Point those toes away, flex those toes toward you. Point and flex point and flex one more time point and flex release that foot back down to the ground inhale lifting up with that right foot as high as you can get it pointing and flexing point and flex and point and flex and point and flex one more time point and flex and release that foot down roll from the ball of your foot to the heel so lift up on your heels weight comes into the balls rock back lift the balls of your feet weight is in the heels so just coming back and forth in that rotating waking up the feet just Letting that 
that stretch come through a couple more times and then back through center wiggling your toes wiggling your fingers and then once more coming to sit in your chair in a comfortable position feet are again hip width distance apart hands rest on on the thighs and I would recommend for the meditation portion of our practice that you have your palms down but it's not required you can also if you like to interlace your fingers and just keep your palms soft in your lap that's also an option so whatever makes you feel comfortable so just find that spot where you feel at ease and just once more take a breath in and then exhale again breathing in and then exhale take one more breath in and the next time you exhale let your eyes drift shut your attention come inside as we enter this period of seated shavasana or corpse pose in a traditional yoga practice we would do this on the floor you would lie down but since we're in a chair we're going to stay seated in the chair and you're going to just let yourself melt into the seat below you. Allow the corners of your eyes to get soft. Your cheeks to begin to relax. Let your mouth get nice and Soft, your tongue falls away. Your throat, space around your heart just opens like a thousand petal lotus. roll up your shoulders your hands rest softly in your lap your hips and your legs are gently supported by the chair supported by the earth beneath them and just let yourself be
breath and into your body. Inviting little micro movements into your fingers, touching one finger to your thumb. Wiggling your toes, inviting that little motion back in. Just letting your awareness rest on how you feel now as our practice begins to draw to a close how you felt when we began. Are you more relaxed, more centered? Do you feel more flexible in your body? I'll share a quote with you from Houston Smith. We all carry it within us, supreme strength, the fullness of wisdom, unquenchable joy. It was never thwarted and cannot be destroyed, but it is hidden deep, which makes life a problem. to a prayer position in front of your heart. And I invite you to join me in chanting the sound of OM, the universal sound of being to seal our practice together. So taking a deep breath in. Thank you.